first, I want to thank your chair, Nina LaCastro. Let's give her a round of applause for all of her work that she does. When she is working out there by the door. To my good friend, Senator Wozniak, while you left public service, I think you have a new career as an MC, so we're going to put you, put you on the road. Thank you for, for all your service. Uh, it's so great to be back here in Cambria County. You know, Cambria County is a special place to the governor and I. It's where we kicked off our general election campaign in 2022. So thank you for propelling us to win a historic victory in 2022. You know, many folks don't realize this, but I got my start in public service as a Democratic committee man in Allegheny County. Uh, I served the state party as a state committee man. I know how hard each and every one of you work to elect good Democrats up and down the ballot. So I want to say thank you. And being a Democrat in a place that sometimes it's not easy to be a Democrat, to continue to fight for working class values, to continue to support good candidates up and down the ballot. You know, because of your hard work, the governor and I made history in 2022 by winning our election by nearly 15 points. You helped flip the Pennsylvania House of Representatives and install the first black woman to serve as the Speaker of the Pennsylvania House in Joanna McClinton. Yeah. You helped send John Fetterman to the United States Senate to be that 51st vote. And you took the son of a union bus driver and a hairdresser and made him Pennsylvania's first black lieutenant governor. I am forever grateful for the work that you do. And I'm so proud to be Pennsylvania's Lieutenant Governor and to be the youngest Lieutenant Governor in America right now. I stand on the shoulders of so many folks who came before me, working class folks, to fight for a day that we could envision this type of progress. You know, since the Governor and I have been in office, we haven't waited, we've got to work immediately, delivering real results for the good people here in Pennsylvania. We delivered the largest increase in education funding in our Commonwealth's history last year. We provided universal free breakfast for every student here in Pennsylvania because no child should have to learn on an empty stomach. We've seen record economic growth in Pennsylvania under our leadership. We've created 82,000 jobs the lowest unemployment rate in our Commonwealth history, $1.2 billion in private sector and investment. And for the first time in decades, we created a long-term economic strategy plan to help guide our Commonwealth for the next decade, focusing on places like Cambria County. And we've worked to make sure that every citizen has the opportunity to both be safe and feel safe in their communities by supporting our police officers, by investing more money in violence intervention programs. We're working every day to make sure no one has to live in a community where they're not safe. We've also been delivering for Pennsylvania seniors. We delivered the largest tax break to Pennsylvania seniors in two decades. You can, that's a enormous impact for folks who are on fixed incomes, folks who are struggling to stay in their homes. I'm proud that Democrats delivered that victory for Pennsylvania seniors here. You know, we have obviously an election this year, and you heard from some great candidates that are on the ballot in this upcoming primary. But I want to be clear, when we come out of that primary the day after, on April 24th, we're going to be united as Democrats. We're going to be united behind our nominees, and I will tell you, we have the best slate of candidates running for Attorney General, Auditor General, and State Treasurer. I would stack any of those folks up against the Republican candidates this year. But we've got a lot of work to do to make sure that we re-elect President Biden. President Biden and Vice President Harris have been doing tremendous work for the American people. President Biden and Vice President Harris passed the infrastructure bill. You remember back in the Trump administration, it was like infrastructure week every week. They delivered billions of dollars to help upgrade Pennsylvania's roads and bridges. They helped cap insulin costs at $35 a month for folks who are seniors who are on Medicaid, Medicare. 
They've allowed Medicaid to start negotiating prescription drug costs to bring down costs for seniors, provided historic relief for young people in terms of student debt relief. And we're rebuilding our manufacturing industry with the Chips and Science Act here that President Biden was able to shepherd. We have so much on the line here in 2024. Our basic fundamental rights and freedoms are on the line. Look, uh, the Senator talked about uh, seven months ago, I became a new father. I have a baby girl named Harper. And I'm, for, I'm in this fight because I wanna make sure that Harper has the same rights that her mother has when she was born into this world. I want to have a world where my daughter is treated with the same respect and dignity as your sons. A world where she has the opportunity to be whatever she wants to be and live the American dream. We have to vote in this election so we can continue to have the opportunity to vote in future elections. Let's be real. Donald Trump, in his last election, talked about throwing out votes and ballots. Where do you think he wanted to throw out those votes and those ballots? In places like Johnstown here in Cambria County and communities all across Pennsylvania. So I'm here to say that we need your help. I know you've been working really hard at a place where it's not easy to be a Democrat, but I'm here to ask you to lean in a little bit further to help us build those margins here in Cambria County. Because we know we win Pennsylvania, not by winning Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, but by closing the margins in places like Cambria County. So I'm here to ask you to help us build a brighter future, not just for Pennsylvania, but for America. Let's work. Thank you, everybody.